The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Laser rejuvenation, bleaching, even bedazzling. We've covered some odd ways to spice things up down there. But would you glitter bomb your vagina? Why not? So that's what some are doing, Dr. Drew. Well, all I, all I know is we haven't had a glitter bomb in my house yet, but... So, Dr. Nito, <laughs> what the hell? I haven't given up hope. There's always... It's always tomorrow. So I'll what is going today. on? What happens is people put these capsules like into their vagina and then with arousal, things get warm, it gets a little moist, it dissolves, and then you get a glitter-like substance. So when you have intercourse, it gets a little festive. Now let me say. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Get, right gets, I have a question. Like, like a Roman I mean, candle? I mean, right. Woo! I well, didn't let us know. I, I don't understand. I didn't get... What is the appeal to a heterosexual man? As a heterosexual <laughs> male, let me say, there is none. Oh, but Dr. Me... Gordon? Well, let you me have... try it first. I haven't tried this bedazzling. He's into it. I'm not going to write you're it off completely. You're telling me that you would love to, after intercourse, have love. glitter all over your man parts? Yes or no? And, and it's going to yes, mind you. It's going to be true. Mind you. Two years later, you're still going to find bits of glitter down there. Well, yeah, it's like a cute way of women marking their men. It's like so a that territorial is, that, thing. That, that, kind of, that I like, kind of those, those sparkles that, are going to be around like. for a while. See? That I like. Maybe like, that's what's happening This is my color here. glitter. Why do you have red glitter? We use purple <laughs> glitter. Like that. But let me say, seriously, as a gynecologist, I, I can't support this. I, forever is a long time when you married, and I do encourage people to get innovative, but you also have to be, I don't even, I don't, yeah, I don't only encourage it, but I like applaud it. Um, but you also have to be safe. And when mm. you're talking about this stuff, there's sugar and things like that. So yeah, your partner might like glitter, but do they also like yeast infections and bacterial infections? <laughs> because that's what it may lead to. This isn't the actual product, but this is kind of how it looks. And let me just say, Ooh, we're brilliant. laughing, but on behalf of gynecologists across America and perhaps around the world, I have to kindly ask that you not glitter bomb your, your vaginas. Um, and Dr. Orton, you can have a good time and then tell your wife to come see Dr. Nita uh -oh. for, her, for her infection. But I heard, I heard one of these products is sold out. That's what they this say. This is they, all, well, they or are they marketing it as, say, oh, right. it's so they hard to come by because it's so popular. on the waiting list. That's what they said. What? Prove it. Yeah. I, I, love, I want to I mean, that's what they stats. told me. <laughs> 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 All right. And before we go, Dr. Ord and I have learned a lot of important lessons in 10 years hosting the show. One of the most important is that the vagina is a self-cleaning oven. Yes. Does it clean glitter not or no? It's not going <laughs> to clean Does this it? stuff out. Well, no. And, okay. So I think, I think the takeaway here is... And correct me if I'm wrong, but anything that your gynecologist doesn't tell you to put in your vagina, you probably shouldn't. That is correct. That's a strong no for me. This could mess up your urethra, too, for the guy. I mean, both ways, men and women, I see potential. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to rethink this tonight. So Not cute. I guess, uh, your arts and crafts, people. Yeah. When it comes to sex, just say no to the glitter.